Hi guys, Radu here. Welcome to today's episode. Today I'm, I would like to talk about meditation and I would like to direct your attention towards the Buddha. When you look at the Buddha, what is he doing? I think you'd say he's meditating. Now the next question I would like to ask is, why is the Buddha meditating? When you think about the Buddha, to me Buddha is an enlightened person, which means he achieved a level of knowledge of understanding, which is the maximum level that a human being can reach. So when I ask the question why is he, is he meditating is then is he meditating because he wants to achieve a higher state? Well, no, he's already at the highest state, so he doesn't have anything to gain, to gain from meditation. So then why does he do it? The reason I ask this question is because meditation nowadays is becoming really popular and a lot of people are doing it in order to achieve um, higher productivity, higher concentration, calmness, uh, all these different benefits that meditation brings. But that is the only reason why they are doing it. And I don't think that the main purpose of meditation is to achieve these benefits. Although you can achieve these benefits and they are important, I think the reason you should meditate is a different one. In order to explain the true purpose of meditation, I would like to remind you about the story of the heron and the lake. The heron is the, is the bird, uh, Barza. And if you remember, I was uh, saying that when the heron is uh, watching the, the lake and it's trying to catch a fish, it is not trying to like look for the fish, you know, like, you know, where is this fish and I want to catch it, is it there, is it there? It's not doing that. What it's doing is just, it's sitting quietly and with the easiness of letting the light reflect from the lake and reach its eyeballs, with this effortlessness, the heron is watching, is observing the lake for the fish. And when it sees a movement uh, somewhere on the lake, he just dives in and catches the fish. This way of observ observation is called in Chinese guan, and it means quiet observation, which means also means thoughtless observation. Now, when you think about what we are doing when we are observing, um, Remember when you are a kid, you know, and you're in class and you're distracted and like then the teacher yells at you and, and says like, pay attention, I'm, I'm saying something important here. And then you would like, oh, okay, now I have to pay attention. You know, and like, I have to see what this person is uh, explaining to me. And there all, there's always a, always a feeling of tension bound to that. You know, you have your muscles strain, you know, your whole body strains up in order to see, to be, to pay attention. And... The, this way of perceiving the world through thought is always bound with tension or this, this feeling of strain. And so what meditation does is teaching you, it teaches you to observe without the process of thought and with, also without the process of strain or tension, which is, I believe, uh, why meditation is so important, for you have to know to perceive the world in both ways, with thought when, uh, when needed, but also without thought when needed. Also what, med what meditation is, and this is to sum things up, is in order to perceive the world truly, you must perceive it without the intervention of thought. And this is a great subject in and of itself, but to me, what meditation truly allows you to do is to perceive reality the way it truly is, to be able to live in the moment and to make contact with reality. And this is why I believe the Buddha pr practiced meditation. Although he was a enlightened person, the reason why he spent so much time sitting was in order to be at one with reality. And this purpose this you do not want to achieve in order to become better at anything. You want the reason why you want to make contact with reality is just that, is because you want to live in the moment, you want to experience things the way they truly are. So yeah, I would say that was uh, that would be it for today's episode. 
I, ba I based this episode on a old lecture from Alan Watts, which I'm gonna link in the description. It is way more, far more descriptive and goes far more in depth that, in, in a way that I can't in this video. But I would encourage you, if you are interested on the subject, to watch that video, it's very good. Also watch uh, the first episodes I did about the heron and the lake and also the um, episode about the present moment because it's going to allow you to make the connections within all these subjects and get the bigger picture. I'm also in the future going to make another episode in which I'm going to discuss meditation more in depth, the way you do it and my opinions on it. That would be in a later episode. Also guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and also share this uh, video with every, everyone you think that could benefit for it, uh, from it. That would also help me a lot in the making of new videos and keeping me motivated and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.